In this video, we're going to be talking men's fashion and we're going to be talking about the one clothing investment that I am most happy to make. Now, it's not just like the one because there's a lot, um, but it is the one and I am wearing it. It is this um, wool cashmere shawl cardigan. So why did I choose this item um, and why is this one of my favorite purchases? And why should you care about it? Why is this important to you? Well, I think um, by understanding uh, and having a stronger idea about men's fashion and the philosophy behind it, not only can you look better, you can feel better and um, feel more confident or just more comfortable. And you may even end up saving money even if you spent more. Now, this is a premium product. And as a self-professed cheapskate, um, it's one of the few things of uh, high cost that I own in terms of clothing. And uh, I'm the type of guy who will do all these crazy things just to get these bargain deals. I might wait a whole year for that one fifty percent off sale, or I might sign up for every single possible fast food chain email newsletter to get that free meal um, if you sign up. I'm that type of guy and I've I found a lot of deals over the years by penny and diming things um, just because of my upbringing and you know trying to save money. That being said over the years I've discovered why it's worth more to spend more because in the long run you may spend less or it just may be worth it. What I mean by that is as I found, you know, I, most of my stuff is cheap stuff and most of my clothing is stuff that I don't know if um, I would say is like my favorite purchase. And one of the reasons be, is because I've learned that cheap stuff, even average stuff, we're not even talking low quality, medium stuff, breaks very quickly. And not even just clothing, like I've got, I went through two or three phone holders for the car because I got the cheapest one or I asked for one for my birthday or something and my family got the cheapest one and they would just like break into a million plastic pieces because they were from a cheaper company and so I've learned over time that you know sometimes don't just go for the free option or the cheap option <clears throat> free is a very dangerous word at least for me and I think for a lot of others people gravitate to the word free they see free and they think I got to get it, you know, buy one shirt, get another free. That's a good deal or free shirt. If you show up on Black Friday issue is those free T-shirts or what have you are poor quality and you oftentimes compromise on getting the better product over something just because it's free. Um, when you talk T-shirts, dress shirts, pants, sweaters, a lot of these things, they get holes in them very quickly. They start to disintegrate and it really sucks. And, um, you know, it's not even super simple because sometimes even the more expensive stuff breaks down very quickly. I did a few videos back recently on how some of these like more premium Banana Republic sh shirts had a bunch of holes in them within a few months and then another shrank a lot in the wash. So, <clears throat> you know, sometimes the more expensive thing is better. Sometimes the cheaper one is better. It all just depends. And there's science to back this up. I was reading the book Predictably Irrational, and there's a study in the book that covers how we just go crazy when we see the word free. <clears throat> they had two types of candy, the premium lint candy, and then the Hershey's Kisses, which are super cheap. Like you can buy them for, for like 10 cents each. And so they sold both of these at this like stall as an experiment. And um, they both they were both discounted from the retail price. So either way, it was a good deal. And to like kind of adjust or control for any like uh, far away bias of like self-selecting bias, you could only see the price when you got up close. So the first part of the experiment, it was uh, 15 cents for the lint premium chocolate uh, or one cent for the Hershey Kiss. You can only choose one. And most people chose the lint chocolate. Then they decreased both by one cent. So this is now, the kiss is now free. The lint chocolate is 14 cents. All of a sudden, 70% shift 
it went from 70% purchasing the lint to 30% purchasing the lint and then 70% getting the free option. So you can totally see how people just go crazy for free and I've learned free and cheap, not always a good word. This is one of the few things that I bought that um, it's just quality. The moment I put it on, the moment others feel it, you can tell the cashmere is well knit. This wasn't even like a um, premium option on Banana Republic. This was the, um, it was a partnership option with some guy I haven't heard of. I think his name's like Scott Duncan or something. Um, but they did like some type of artistic partnership with this like who knows who he is, a designer, uh, a stylist of some sort. And they constructed this like exclusive cashmere uh, thing and sold it at, you know, at Banana Republic. And I just gotta be honest. It's been one of my favorite go-tos. It feels great putting it on. Um, I feel more stylish with it on. It's super comfortable. It's the most comfortable, breathable, flexible thing I have in terms of sweaters. And it works great with a dress shirt or um, you know any anything really underneath it. Um, so always been a big fan of shawl cardigans, and you know here's a great example of how you can do it right. That said, you know I was talking about how even expensive stuff doesn't always work and as you can see here there are holes on it already i think i've had it for about two to three years and uh yeah there's already holes right here and there um but other than that it's pretty good also you know with premium stuff like this you can only hand wash it cold um not all like some you can dry clean and so forth it just depends but um yeah, I think my philosophy in conclusion has changed and you don't have to apply it just to buying a shawl cardigan. This can work with anything that uh, you purchase. Um, just go, go into it with that essential wardrobe that um, everyone, every man should have. The essential items, you know, the Oxford shirts, the chino pants, the jeans, the dress shirts and so forth. and Get those purchased first. And then when you're buying, ask yourself, am I buying this just because it's the cheapest or it's free? And if so, you know, that that's fine, but is the reduction in quality you're getting worth it in terms of how it feels on you, how confident it makes you feel, how often you think you actually wear it, and uh, how likely it is good, it, that you're gonna have to buy another one once it breaks down or gets holes or, or tears or gets dirty. Um, and sometimes that'll still lead you to purchasing the cheaper thing, which I sometimes do. I mean, I get um, these t-shirts from JCPenney that are $7, $5 each sometimes that still are better fits and longer lasting than even Banana Republic and Gap stuff. Um, and then there are other times when you think about it and you, you really think, is this really worth it if I buy it cheap? Or is the quality really worth the investment? And for certain things like boots, leather boots is something I've found through um, the hard way, you have to buy more expensive. I bought these, I mean, you can see them here, they're horrible. I bought these Chelsea boots from a really cheap store it's called, it was uh, Call It Spring. I wore these about two or three times and it just never felt good. Like you could tell the, the fabric is just, it's not even leather and you could tell. It's, it's kind of cheap, it still cost me 60 bucks. And you know, I've bought um, a dress shoe from here as well and it started to crack and get frays on the front within a couple wears. Plus, I bought this one a size up, and there's they don't allow, allow return or exchange, so it was a size too small. Even though usually this this size fits me well, so I can't even wear it without my toes hurting. Um, so I learned from that, and I actually, you know, since I've been purchasing um, dress boots that are in the two hundred to four hundred dollar range, and they look better, they feel better, they're so much cooler. They actually look like leather because they are leather. And um, 
yeah that's an investment that is worth it like even the bottoms they look so much more legitimate because they are and they don't get all messed up after just a few wears so that thing is going to last me for years and years and years whereas the first investment you know it may last you a year and it won't even feel that good in that year so really over time the more expensive option becomes the better one and it's more comfortable and so forth plus it, you can still be smart about it with these premium offers i'm totally fine with purchasing it used especially if it's barely used um, and i was able to get a lot of great deals on these uh, shoes that cost 200 to 400 dollars um, sometimes 500 uh, for pennies on a dollar I, I would get them for 50 bucks or or less on average and uh, you can find these on ebay and other places i even got one of my favorite finds it was definitely a bargain um s some man in new york bought a pair of black uh man these are just beautiful i gotta show you ba black double monk straps beautiful from johnston murphy a beautiful brand and i guess he he didn't like them he got them for his birthday or something and so his wife you know, we tried to resell them on mercari these were worn like twice max and look how sleek and beautiful this is regular price you know at johnston murphy at the store you'd have to pay like 200 300 400 bucks for this guaranteed um, cause I know that store well, um, I got this for like 30 bucks and you're not always going to find deals like this on, uh, Mercari or eBay, like certain brands like Allen Edmonds, like they already have their prices on lock and, uh, you know, you, you, you're not going to get, find any super rare gems unless you do a lot of searching and digging. Um, but you can still find great deals and get a premium product and be, feel happy with it. Um, and be happy with paying a bit more so that's that um hopefully it helped you out same thing applies for t-shirts denim jackets and so forth don't always choose the cheapest option and uh enjoy